Hello, third graders. We are working on our next apple today. We are drawing our apples from observation. So we already drew um, our apple from observation in realistic chalk pastel. So we did those drawings that we finished earlier. This time, we are going to use a new medium. We are using oil pastel, oil pastel. So we're going to use a lot of the same ideas as we did for the chalk pastel ones. We're going to draw our shadows and our highlights just like we did before. Um, but this time it's going to be a little different because we're not going to be blending with our fingers like we did for this one. Um, we are going to be using the oil pastels to make everything. So I'm going to show you an example and then you are going to be able to create yours the way you want to create it. And this time, instead of making it a realistic apple like we did the first time, we are actually going to create an artwork that's a little more abstract. So you can still use the same ideas of shadow and light that you learned about when you were doing your original drawings. But this time, we are also going to um, use a little bit of our own imagination. So maybe instead of making a red apple, I can make a purple apple or a blue apple. So the first thing you are going to create is your apple. So you need to choose what color you want to make your apple and you can get started with it. Just like we did before, we're going to start with the lightest colors first. So no matter what color your apple is, you'll start with the lightest spots and then work your way to the darkest spots. So for my apple, I'm going to, instead of doing um, yellow in there, I think I'm going to use green for those light spots. So I'm going to make green in there. And just like with the chalk pastels, I'm going to bring my lines so they kind of go in the same direction that the apple goes in. So these lines kind of come out from the inside. You can see those lines on the apple. I want them to kind of follow those same lines in my drawing. And with the chalk, uh, and with the oil pastel, it's kind of just like coloring with crayons, only it's a little smoother. So it works a little easier. You can feel it just kind of rolling down on your, pens on your paper. And then I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the rest of my apple blue. And so I'm going to use blue and I'm going to go in and draw my blue parts of my apple. And you can see I have this textured watercolor paper. So it is actually leaving little white spots in there. And that's okay because I'm going to show you in a little bit what you're going to do with those white spots to get rid of them. And there's my highlight, so I want to make sure I leave that white. I don't want to color that in. So I'm going to keep using my oil pastels and going the same direction as my apple goes. Filling that in. Same direction that my apple goes. And then just like in my original picture, I need to draw my shadows in there. So I'm going to add in some darker spots. I'm going to press a little harder to make some dark areas down here where the, where the shaded side of my apple is, where it's a little darker. I'm being careful to stay inside the lines. Going over it a little bit more to add a little shadow to this side. So I've got a little shadow starting over here. Okay. And then I want it to be even darker right here, I think. So I'm going to add a little, I'm actually going to use some black this time. I'm going to add just a little, not too much, because I don't want it to be turn into a black apple. I just want it to look like a shadow on my apple. So I'm not really pressing hard with the black. I'm just going lightly over top of what I already have to draw that shadow in. Okay. And then I'm going to put in my white highlight. And just like on our last one, we can add a little white to the spots where the light would shine down because my light's coming from over here. So I would have some white along these parts here. And then I have this beautiful apple. 